Hi, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Sharon, and I love building with Lego, and I am creating a Harry Potter um, layout. But today's topic is cleaning or washing Lego, and I figured I'd show you how I do it. Now, this is um, a lot of Lego that was donated to me by my niece, and I can tell by looking at it that it needs to be washed. Um, it's dust, dust damage from just sitting out on her dresser and um, sun damage from just sitting out on her dresser. And really, the reality of sun damage. This is a whole bunch of SpongeBob Lego. So, um, it'll be cool because I don't usually, um, ooh, I don't usually play with SpongeBob or build SpongeBob. But you can watch the process. And here we go. Hi. Thanks for visiting the channel. My name is Sharon. It's a new day for building, creating, collecting, and sorting. If you love leveling, be sure to check out my Lego room and my other videos. I hope you have fun, and please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now back to the video. Okay, so I'm just going to add some warm water. I just did um, and some soap. Um, another video on how washing Lego because I just bought a Harry Potter Hogwarts set second hand and I wash it you know when it's second hand I wash Lego um, with somebody I don't know just maybe because you know we're living in the real world here and then with this I'm just washing it for the dust purposes because that's a family member that owns it I like it to be dust free and clean, but I wouldn't do it too often, of course, because some of my Harry Potter stuff is old. So I'm just swishing it around a little bit to get the dust off. And I was actually saying in that video that by washing it, you know, it does help you with the sort as well, because you're gonna, you know, you're gonna notice that the big stuff comes up and then I'm rinsing kind of but as I'm rinsing I'm just taking the big stuff out and I can kind of single that out so that kind of starts my sort already um, because the um the goal is yeah I'm gonna break this down and sort it so if I can start to do some preliminary You've got all that brown stuff and just go together. Why not? Because my sort in the um, Lego room is by color and by shape. So it's a very, um, and you know, it's pretty much rinsed. And I do have a strainer in the strain. Believe me, I don't want to lose any pieces. But you know, the strainer will catch any of the small pieces. And the suds are pretty much gone. See, there's a lot of pieces that are just nice standard pieces, like nice, you know. But the stickers are damaged, so those will have to come off. But I will find a use for those beautiful, um, I don't know what to call them, 
They're like circular wall builders. Such a bummer that that um, tiki hat or almost looks like the Chamber of Secrets skull. Such a bummer that that's color damaged because that's really an awesome mold right there. Can you see it? But I've never seen like that's 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 a SpongeBob right there. Pirate ship, ship um, steering wheel. And then we have some minifigures, yay. A little spacesuit, but maybe an acorn spacesuit, Patrick. And oh, I should just throw you in the pile. I should separate you out. Him, whatever his name is, I don't know. And that flew in, in SpongeBob. I haven't watched it for so long. Squidward, body. Another, I think he's pretty sure he's Patrick. SpongeBob, 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 we're getting a bath. He's got a bandage on his head right here. And then this one is just an ordinary, ordinary SpongeBob. So yay, some new figures. New figures are always awesome. So these will go here, and you know they will air dry. If I'm really, really um like wanting to build them like immediately, and there's another Mr. Krabs. Oh, I wonder what his bottom's supposed to look like. He's so cool. I love him. Oh, and he has a broken arm. I'm sure that isn't on purpose. And then the itty bitties. <laughs> I was talking about the itty bitties in my um, last video. The small stuff, you know, just kind of separates itself. It's what's at the bottom of the bin. An owl, another hat of this guy. Purple this time. It looks like he's got a doctor's thing on his head. Um, this will all be ready for sorting. So it doesn't take long, really. And it is just, it, it, everything looks, looks so much nicer when it's nice and clean. And then you can separate out. Like, there's another example of um, just that gray changing. That's sun damage right there. That's the reality of it. And we are done. So, um, so my next step will be organizing this Lego, sorting it, um, and then bringing it to the studio and um, putting it in the bin, the appropriate bins for my creating Lego, Lego um, collection. So it's really cool because um, I see some pieces that I've never seen before, so I like that. And um, I appreciate that the donation by my niece, that was very, very sweet of her. Um, if you are enjoying the content, please go ahead and subscribe. I enjoy making these videos and um, enjoy connecting with other people who love Lego. So look at these. Cool for a different type of tree. So you just never know what you're gonna find. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you again. Check out my other video on sorting Lego. Have an awesome day and ha happy Legoing. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this air dry, but if you wanna pop over to one of my other videos, I have another video on sorting, which is a great follow-up to this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy Legoing.